Facebook provides us code that we can put on our website to retarget people who visit our website. What does that mean? That means if somebody stops by your website, it collects their information and you can actually show your ads. But there's two steps that you have to do before you do that. Step one is that you have to create a pixel. Step two is that you have to install the pixel on your page. I'm going to show you how to create a pixel in this video. Make sure to hop over to my second video so you can see how to install it on your WordPress website. Do when they visit your Facebook page, whether it's from ads or just visiting your page, is they will actually go to your website. Studies show that most of the time people just go to your website once and they will not revisit it unless you prompt them to do it. So um, what the way you can do that is by using Facebook Pixels. Facebook Pixels allows you to create this code, put it on your site, and track who comes to your site. Now it doesn't give you their, your, their name or profile or anything like that, but if they're connected to Facebook, it will allow you to retarget them at a later time and bring them back to your page. So let me show you some scenarios. Now the best company that does that is Amazon. For some reason, there it's not working right now, and I'll show you how I know that in just a second, but usually you'll go and maybe you look for this Apple Watch. Then in a couple minutes, you go back to your Facebook and what shows on your right-hand side or in your newsfeed, the Apple Watch, right? Um, this is because Amazon usually puts code on each of its products so it can retarget you. You can decide to retarget somebody instantly, um, retarget them later when you have a similar product, etc. So I'm going to go to another company that does this is Buick. A lot of the car dealerships do it. And the way I know this is the um, Pixel Helper, Facebook Pixel Helper. Again, this only works in Chrome. You could download it from the Facebook store. I'll leave a link um, in the description. But basically, um, sorry, not the Facebook store, the Chrome store. But basically, I can tell since it says one, I have one Pixel. And it's basically saying that um, this pixel is loaded. So they're tracking the fact that I came here so they could retarget me later. That also gather, gathers all the information that Facebook knows about me. So my age, my demographic, where I live, places I visit and check in, basically everything about me. Um, Buick basically has that information, everything except who I am, for instance, my name or email address. Now, shopping, a lot of times you'll see two different pixels. So one showing that you've actually visited the site, but two showing the actual product. So I'm on a swimsuit product. So one is for um, the actual, um, and let's see if they actually have the name here. They probably don't. But there's several things you can do. You can add a value to this product. Um, so this is a product type. And what they'll do is they'll retarget you for this exact product, not for Macy's itself, but for the exact product. So let me show you how you could set this up for your business. You basically, I'm still in the ads manager, you just go to tools, pixels. The first time you'll see this explanation about what you do, um, and then you just click on create a pixel. Now, you can only create this once, you only have one pixel. If you've done Facebook ads before, this used to be several pixels that you create, but um, this is just one pixel. So I'm gonna call this Gills classy designs pixel right read to the terms and click on create now if you have someone who's doing your website easiest thing ever you email the code if you have to install it yourself install sounds very very engaged and hard but really it's super duper easy and I'm going to show you how now install pixel now you just click in there and it copies it for you I'm going to do control C just to show you I'm going to click on set up events because it's the only one that I can do and I'm going to click on done. Okay, now you have your Facebook pixel. The next thing you need to do is then install it on your Ooh, website. That was easy, right? You were able to create a pixel. Now move on to step two. Click on the link to my right or left. Click on the link. There should be a box somewhere over here. You can click on to go to the next video and figure out how to install it on your page. Go ahead and click it now. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Ciao.